What's going on my beautiful YouTube family? Today I'm going to show you how to find highly profitable products to sell on Amazon FBA using a fantastic tool called AMZ Scout. And with everything happening around the globe, this is the perfect time to hone in on products and categories that are seeing massive growth right now. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. That way as I give more tips like this, you'll get notified. Now I did want to show you some amazing statistics that AMZ Scout sent over to me to go ahead and share with you guys. So what I wanted to show you and why I wanted to make this video is to highlight the opportunities that are happening right now on Amazon that will help you get ahead of the curve and to keep a profitable Amazon FBA business thriving during this economic boom that's happening right now in e-commerce. And so what AMC Scout has basically done is they've shown specific niches that are exploding right now on Amazon. Now what you can clearly see based on what this data is showing, for example, when you're looking at the product placemats, is demand has literally skyrocketed for this product, which makes sense. And this skyrocket actually has only happened within the past few months. And like I said, it makes 100% sense because when I show you some of these other products and we're also going to go through them using the AMZ Scout Pro extension, when we actually use the extension, I'm going to actually show you ways you can not only leverage the data that they're showing you, but to actually bring even better products to the marketplace so you already, again, come out on top of your competitors. But one thing I wanted to point out is, again, placemats, more people are staying in and they're not eating at restaurants. So people are actually eating at home. So they're buying more placemats. I mean, this demand is insane. Now, when we look at some of the other products like bicycle saddles, you know, more people, once the gym's closed, they were doing more things outdoors. And you can actually see they actually pulled some stats from Google. And what this is showing is, again, look at this skyrocket growth over time and the niche history on Amazon look at this it was even going down psh, spike massive spike and what's telling about this data is that it's going to continually rise like this right with things being uncertain around the world more and more people are just going to be doing more things outside whether it's getting exercise or cycling or things of that nature. And they're going to be also doing more things indoors, such as instead of going to restaurants, eating at home with their family. And so another product that you can actually see taking off is beard trimmers, right? Again, more people are staying at home. They're not going out to get a shave during their you know normal haircut. So they're actually doing their own trimming at home. And again, you can see for beard trimmer, for example, look at the interest boom it's spiking right here and then again you can see stable growth with this particular product right another thing like roller skating uh, things to that nature again when you look at the demand history for this I mean it's absolutely insane it's so explosive this is a golden opportunity for any FBA seller to capitalize on what's happening right now and make an extraordinary Amazon FBA business happen and like I said when you're looking at this data, a few things like just the framework. So that's what I wanted to show you right now is the actual framework for the products we're actually reviewing is the framework of what are people doing now and what are people going to continually do for the foreseeable future. All right. So once you're in front of Amazon, go ahead and type in one of the products we just went over, for example. So I'm going to use placemats and I'm going to go ahead and click on search and once the results load up here just go ahead and click on the pro extension right here so you can start seeing the data that AMZ Scout provides you. Now what I really like about AMZ Scout is how much detail and emphasis they put in the actual analysis for your product search because when you're looking at this this is going to be one of the first things that pops up as soon as you click on the AMZ Pro Scout extension. So they're gonna give you an overall score for the niche. So for example, it's gonna show you the profit. It's gonna show you the desired prices are looking good. The prices are inside the 15 to $40 range and it's easier to make profits if prices are not low or sell in large quantities if prices are not high. So they actually give you a recommended price point to stay within, which is that 15 to $40 range, and they go ahead and rate the product on, that, on those on that criteria 
And so when you look at also low margin, you can just read all of the notes that they're providing for you. You will need to sell a lot to profit, pay close attention to FBA fees, shipping, production, and marketing costs. They may be a bit high, use the profit calculator to count them. That's incredible. And if, as you can also see, they have demand, very high sales, niche is quite new. And you can also see on the competition side, right? They're actually going to also rate it on the saturation score. So it's an unsaturated niche, very few AMZ sellers. And that's really important that they highlighted the very few AMZ sellers because I'm going to show you how to actually organize the results to only show FBA sellers because AMZ sellers are going to be much larger sellers. They're going to be vendors. And so if there's a lot of vendors selling a particular product, odds are it's going to be really hard for you to stay profitable or even compete in that area because Amazon themselves are selling those products for the vendors, okay? So pay very close attention to the overall notes that it gives you, right? It takes a, a lot of the manual leg, leg work right off the bat. And so you can read the rest that are right here, right? Free, free competition, very low top brand competition, which is also another, another important one because you don't want to be competing with a lot of big brands on the first page. It's just going to be really hard for you to compete with their budget. So well, you can click out of that as soon as you're ready, right? Once you've had a feel for what you're going to be looking at, right? A lay of the land. And right away, I like to click right here where it says seller and organize it to only show FBA sellers because the numbers you're going to see here are going to be the most idealistic and most opportunistic for you to go after. You can also organize the products by their score. So the higher the score, the better. All you need to do is click product score here and it'll actually rate the top score products first all the way down to the lowest. So that way you can save a ton of time going through the results and you can immediately focus on the opportunities that are in green for you, right? That's gonna be seven plus. And by looking at these opportunities, you can already start to see all of the data all in one place. So what you're going to want to see is first that the net margin is high, right? Generally, on this screen that you're looking at right now, a net margin to aim for would be around 60% plus because you still have to factor in your product's cost. So by looking at the products that have above a 60% net margin, those are going to be the best opportunities for you to start looking for profitable products, right? And you're going to also want to pay attention to the price. If it fits into that $15, the $40 range, you're golden. And they also already calculate the FBA fees, again, which saves you a tremendous amount of time doing this manually when you're using the Amazon FBA fee calculator. So by looking at all of these products right here, you can also see their estimated revenue and you can also see the amount of reviews that they have. Now, you're going to want to especially pay close attention to the reviews. You ideally want to target niches and products that don't have a high review barrier because if there is a high review barrier, odds are of you competing in that for that specific product are going to be very, very low for you to compete successfully, okay? So you can see, you know, pay attention to the review count and if it's under 100 reviews, that's golden, which is probably why the product score is so high because you can see that these are all still fairly new Amazon FBA sellers, right? They don't have very many reviews, but you can see, look, this product only has two reviews and they're already at uh, $3,000 a month, right? Seven reviews, $3,000 a month. And you can see the progression in revenue the more reviews you get. And the barrier to entry is incredibly low right here. And so what I would do is look at the products themselves and see, like for example, right here, this product's doing about 20 set, almost $30,000 a month. And it's four, it's a four pack of placemats selling for $25.99. Well, all you have to do at this point is just go to Alibaba or whoever you're sourcing your products from. To save time, I'm just going to show you Alibaba. And you can see right away that these specific pieces, those exact same ones, right, are going for a dollar to a dollar ninety a piece. What you don't want to do is sell the exact same product. So you don't want to go to Alibaba, look that, look, find the exact same product. You see it's a four pack, and then just say, hey, let me buy these products, put them in a four pack and send them over. You're going to want to change up the product a little bit in order to make that particular choice 
profitable. So what I would do is I would make a five pack or even a six pack. Make sure you're adding more value to the marketplace when you're bringing your product. Otherwise, if you're not adding more value, it's just going to be really hard for you to compete because these sellers are already doing that and they're, they have a leg up on you on lead time, etc., etc. But if you can pivot by increasing the value for the customers, you're already penetrating the market much faster with a superior product. I hope I'm making sense there. So when you're looking at these products, for example, and you're looking at Alibaba, say, hey, look, if they're doing a, a four pack, let me add a five pack, let me add a six pack. And that way, even if you keep the same price, you can still generate massive amounts of sales just by making that small tweak. Of, and if each match a, doll, a dollar, you can see how this can be massively profitable if done correctly. Now let's go ahead and look at beard trimmers. You can see again a synapsis right away when you're using the AMZ Scout Pro extension. And you can see just like placemats, beard trimmers also have really high product scores. You can see that the net margins are also very high, which is good. And you can see the estimated revenue right here, which is massive. And you can see the number of reviews that these sellers have. You can see just by looking at the first five opportunities, that's already under the 100 review threshold. And some of these sellers are just crushing it with only 45 reviews. You can see this seller is doing $53,000 a month. This one's at $50,000 a month. Again, these are massive opportunities because people are doing more things for themselves at home. And again, you can just go to Alibaba and find which product makes sense. Again, just like I mentioned before, you don't want a me too product. What you want is to bring something more to the table so that way you can take market share right away. And you can just by looking, you don't even have to click on the product. They already show you what the image looks like again, which helps you when you're shopping for products using Alibaba as an example. So when you're looking at this, I also wanted to show you that when you're looking for products to sell on Amazon, you can also click on the products. Go So the, if you're making a basket list of products, go to their product pages and look at the reviews. And you can see on the negative reviews what the customers are not liking about those products. And you can use those negative reviews as a resource for you to go ahead and start talking to manufacturers and say, hey, look, customers don't like this about a certain product. I want to be sure to add this to make the product better. You can use negative reviews from your top competitors as valuable insights into the customers so that way you can better serve those customers with the superior product. So you just take those negative reviews, send them over to Alibaba or to whoever your manufacturer is and say, hey, look, I would like to improve the product by doing X, Y, and Z. And this makes product research so much better for you because if you're not doing the Me Too product, which again, I completely advise against, you're actually bringing more value and you're using real data to get that value. You're not guessing what you think the customers want. You're actually taking data directly from your top competitors, negative reviews, and improving a product and bringing your product to the marketplace with that data. And it's 100% free to get the review data from Amazon. Now, if you want to grab this extremely powerful Amazon FBA product research tool called AMZ Scout, be sure you click on the affiliate link below in the description so that way you can go directly to their highly competitive pricing plans as they have a pricing plan that meets all budgets. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try to do more Amazon FBA product research videos on a weekly basis, leveraging the data that AMZ Scout offers. I think it's an incredible list of data points that they have collected and I think it'll be an extremely powerful resource for you to use as an Amazon FBA seller. Again, thank you so much for watching. If this is your, one of your first time watching one of my YouTube videos, don't forget to join the Zon Rush Facebook group and subscribing to this channel. And of course, if you found this video resourceful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Well, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.